Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stuffy Sunny. Welcome back to your Mass Talk Show. Today we are going to spend some time talking on a very important topic that is youth. As you know that youth plays a very vital role in the society. They are advanced in technology, politics as well in education. For getting more about the topic, we have Emmanuel Basmadari back to our show. Hello sir. Thank you. How Thank are you? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, uh, sir, today we are going to spend talking about youth. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell me like how youth or how can a youth bring a change in the world to bring or to make the world way more better and livable? Well, that this is a very interesting question and uh, uh, and also I think we need to talk about this, uh, you know, uh, youth's uh, contribution to the uh, society where we are living of course we are youth and we uh, have uh, immensely seen so many you know great things the advancement of technology and also the educations and also the politics as you mentioned yes. uh, but then the, looking to the uh, contributions or what young generations can do to bring the changes in the society uh, is I would uh, see certain things that you can uh, really you know bring uh, and contribute something that can really bring the changes in the society in, in number one i think in terms of uh, you know, you know uh, quality educations where you know we need more quality educations uh, uh, and uh, it's not only the city uh, but need to be in the village as well then second uh, is the volunteering, uh, you know, uh, in our country where we have so many, uh, you know, natural disasters or we have uh, different, uh, you know, issues coming up in our country. I think where you can volunteer yourself uh, to bring uplift them and of the society. Then you can also work in the, uh, uh, the uh, in a social media platform where you can bring the, you know, awareness to mm -hmm. the society and you can also work in a, a clean energy and uh, clean water then you can uh, look at again to in the uh, pollutions and many other things that way uh, today the young generation can contribute because we have 1.2 billion young in the society yeah of course uh, india is second largest uh, population uh they have we have the second largest population so uh, you were talking about the contribution or the, the kind of donation what kind of contribution you are supposing to say what the youth what kind of contribution you are just telling uh, oh, well uh, when i'm using the word contribution i mean to say that the the uh, uh, every young uh, people in our country or across the world has a potential where they can uh, bring uh, changes in the society they can uh, involve uh, in into the society and bring uh, you know uh, the changes uh, it's not only just personal uh, gain or selfish motive that you are having educations and you get a job and you satisfy and fulfill your own desires but i think every uh, young needs to you know involved in upliftment of the society yes that was a very good answer and i was just uh, thinking about the education as uh, most of the youngsters they have well education they are getting the fully education and uh, more than that to the youth they are more options for the for their studies like they have bachelors and they have masters and all and apart from that uh, what is the motivation uh, you want to give to the students or the youngs who are studying now or they are on the race of their studies you see uh, when you are young uh, uh, especially uh, those who are you know uh, beginning from 10 to uh, age uh, I think uh, these two things are very uh, 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 important in, in uh, building up uh, your uh, life number one is what you call a commitment and uh, commitment is something very very important unless you are committed for certain works you, you uh, especially even in educations when you're not committed to study you can't uh, you know grow up in the educations and second thing is that when you are determining uh, or you have committed to become something uh, in the future 
assume that you want to become a doctor uh, unless the, with that commitment, if you are not disciplining your studies, you know, you need to rise up in the morning, then, to, you know, focus on the study and form decided that you want to become a doctor, then you've got to have a really discipline in your life. So I think young needs to have these two elements. Number one is the commit commitment uh, that you have a goal or you have a dream to become something and then upon that commitment you discipline yourself master yourself and you can reach to that goal yeah that was that was a very impressive <coughs> answer and uh, as you know that this is the time of the youth especially for the students they have their final terms so there will be people or there will be parents who will be comparing their kids or screening their kids from one to another and that can lead to a very emotional uh, uh, kind of stigma for the students like can you just encourage the students who are really sad of getting uh, low remarks in their studies and but they are good on the other side too yes i think uh, the one the reason i would suggest to, to the parents uh, first of all that never compare uh, your children with other children uh, that's not a good habit exactly. first of all that accept your children as they are mm -hmm. and uh, train them up in mm -hmm. the way you see everyone the personality and also the uh, psychology uh, is very different from person to person mm -hmm. uh, some children are very good in sports yeah, some yeah. are good in education mm -hmm. some are good in different talents so I think the parents needs to discover and uh, help the children to come off into the area where they are uh, and training off into that area. I don't think that the parents should force if a children is not willing to become a doctor, why you want to force your children to become a doctor? Uh, whereas the children want to become maybe uh, a businessman. Uh, we need to allow them, permit them into their own interest and they will master with that mm -hmm. and they will come and they will become the best version of, of uh, what they are and they will be able to do you know what they are capable to do what you decide uh, will determine your future yeah. so talking about the gadgets as we know that many gadgets and uh, technology is increasing day by day and the youths are using the gadgets uh, in a well in a well manner way and can you just tell me or can you just suggest how uh, you should handle the gadgets in the in these days well it's very difficult to suggest today especially the young generations because everyone has a phone uh, you know and uh, today because of phone uh, it has both positive and negative uh, influence especially to the young you know and uh, the young uh, if you are between from the 15 to 25 year old uh, I think need to be very careful that can destroy your life mm -hmm. or it can build your life if mm -hmm. you are very wise of using phone that is very helpful today in the social media uh, platform there's YouTube you have uh, where you can have access of uh, anything uh, about the knowledge you can use this one you want to learn maths you can still access the about maths and learn you want to learn the pieces is to can access and learn so uh, the social media gives us uh, a very vital uh, i mean the, it's a source the, where you have so much of knowledge that you can access but at the same time i think uh, in the family it brings disaster and over the years because I see sometimes uh, there are complaints from the family members. It's so all the time you are, uh, yeah, you know, you are uh, phone. <laughs> the phone and, uh, you know, WhatsApp and Instagram or Twitter and all the time you are. Uh, and that can really ruin a person's life. And that can ruin, uh, ruin especially in your study. And uh, it, it, it can also ruin the relationship in the family. Yeah, in the pre last days, I was just uh, I was just going through the notes and I heard I saw one quotation. It was like, uh, she helped me to hold the pencil and today I'm teaching her to use the touch screen. So it was like a son is talking about his mom. So uh, nowadays youths they are helping their parents for using the technology, especially this touch phone and all. Yeah, of course, that there is a technology cave. Uh, of course, we have a generation cave, but 
I, I think uh, that we are supposed not to be proud and say that uh, parents uh, and nothing they know about our generations of technologies. No, they are the you know the main uh, who has to help us. You know, uh, when we are not able to walk, uh, they help us to walk. When we're not able to read, they open our eyes to read. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're the main teachers and gurus. And I think uh, uh, we need to respect them and uh, not to be proud uh, of our knowledge, but just to, you know, uh, you know, build that cave uh, and help uh, our parents, to even, if they're, even if they're not knowing you know, how to use the gadget. Yeah. I think that's the very important. Yeah, that's we of course uh, we need to help our parents and we need to love our parents. Yeah. Talking about politics, uh, what's your point of uh, getting more youngsters in the politics, especially in our country, India? Well, I still remember, uh, uh, you know, uh, Myanmar, a uh, uh, revolutionist, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, what she said is this, <clears throat> if you do not know the principle of politics, it is better not to involve in the po uh, politics. Mm -hmm. and so the politics is something in Indian context is being misunderstood. Uh, Sometimes it is a dirty politics, often we know it. But the politics, in a good sense, it's all about serving, it's about serving people, bringing up the society, uh, in the way from the poverty, in the way of you know corruptions or from this uh, social stigmas and other things like that, but I think uh, uh, the young generation needs to relearn of what it means of justice, what it means of you know uh, uh, injustice or what it means of uh, you know building the nations and all of that. I think this young generation can come into the front line and uh, you know build the nations by involving even in the politics but you should know uh, you know uh, uh, the good politics because if you involve of dirty politics the corruptions and other things I think that's not a good sign of leading towards the uh, uh, nation building and uh, the last uh, two years in our country that also suffered with the COVID pandemic. And in those times, the youngsters, they played a role in sending all the essential equipments and uh, the food supplies. And they were running after all, all areas to help the people who were under COVID session. So it, that was the time when youth, they were literally, they were helping them out to help the country and many places I saw that they are cleaning the areas like beaches and the park and everywhere they were just cleaning and they were doing very better for our country that is that contribution that a literally a country needs or the youth that a country needs yeah definitely and I want to thank all the young who have participated in in helping our nations and helping to your own uh, you know people and distributing uh, different PV kits or uh, you know helping uh, especially the doctors and nurses yes. and also uh, you know the country the prime minister and other uh, cabinet ministers who were greatly greatly uh, involving in during this uh, uh, pandemic time so I was just telling you before we conclude Kev, what is your contribution your contribution for country as a youth what's you will do on the ground for a oh, well uh, that's a good question and uh, uh, I am a teacher and uh, my uh, it's a great joy and uh, you know privilege to work among young uh, generations and uh, contribute the knowledge that's all I'm doing now and uh, I hope uh, the young uh, you know with whom I'm working uh, uh, you know the passing on the knowledge just not only just passing on the knowledge but but it being influencing them, you know, uh, the way that they are supposed to, you know, uh, bring the changes as well in our society. Thank and you. moreover, I think I'm just helping how our society uh, uh, needs to be changes. Look at our country, of course, now uh, there are differences, there are mm -hmm. changes, 
you talk about dowry system in our country, you have inequality uh, among the, uh, you know, society. This all needs to be, you know, eradicated and also, uh, you know, thrown away. Yeah. <laughs> and that is really, uh, our young generation can do it. And I'm just working and helping them. Yeah, that was beautifully spoken. So we were spending and we were talking about youths with Emmanuel Basmatari and we learned many, many things today. It's all about education, politics, contribution, and the most important, how to bring peace and harmony in each and every country, specifically the war which is going through and which we are, which we are seeing in and around. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video brings you many answers to your unanswered questions. This is Steffi Sunny winding up. Thank you. Have a great day.